We are now approaching a one-year anniversary. The House passed H.R. 810, a bill to lift the President's restrictions on stem cell research. It's been 346 days since the House passed this bill, strong bipartisan support. It's supported by a majority of senators on a bipartisan basis. It enjoys large majorities in public opinion polls. Hardly surprising because stem cell research, as Senator Reid said, holds tremendous promise for curing illnesses and saving lives. One obstacle stands in the way of our vote on H.R. 10, and that one obstacle is the Majority Leader, Senator Bill Frist. We have been waiting almost a year for Majority Leader Frist to make good on his pledge, his pledge, to bring H.R. 810 to the floor for a vote. As Senator Reid said, next week has been designated by Senator Frist as Health Week in the Senate. It's hard to believe that the Senate would consider a series of health bills next week without even being allowed a vote to support stem cell research. But that appears to be exactly what Senator Frist has in mind. So what it appears is that Health Week is just yet another gimmick by the Republicans to try to fool the public that something's being done when nothing's being done. Now, I appreciate the fact that some Republican senators have been very helpful and outspoken on this issue. I would mention Senator Specter, Hatch, Senator Smith, have all urged the majority leader to bring up this bill. Senator Frist himself gave a speech last summer on the floor of the Senate and endorsed H.R. 810. But again and again, he's refused to bring it up for a vote. Well, my patience, the patience of other Democratic senators, and the patience of the American people has run out. So today we are taking the extraordinary step of sending a letter to Majority Leader Frist, formally calling on him to bring H.R. 810 to the floor for a vote. It's no secret that the reason for the nearly one-year delay in bringing up this bill is because of political maneuverings within the Republican Party. And that's a shame because stem cell research shouldn't be a political or partisan issue. Make no mistake, if the Democrats were in charge of the Senate, H.R. 810 would have been brought up and voted on and passed and sent to the President a long time ago. As I speak, people we love are dying from Parkinson's and ALS. Children are suffering from juvenile diabetes. People unable to walk due to spinal cord injuries. My nephew, Kelly, 26 years he's been waiting, 26 years since an injury in the military cost him the use of his legs, caused him to be a paraplegic. He has been waiting 26 years. There isn't a week goes by that he doesn't write and say, what's happening on stem cell research? As Christopher Reeve pointed out before he died, we've seen stem cell research on rats that had injured spinal cords and caused the rat, and they were able to get the rat to walk again, as Christopher Reeves said once, oh, to be a rat. We cannot afford to wait any longer. These people can't wait another year, another day, for Senator Frist and his party to resolve their internal differences. They need hope now. That's why we will continue to push for a vote on H.R. 810 next week. I urge people all across America to send their own letters and their emails to Senator Bill Frist demanding a vote on this important bill.